And in a significant development, Sudan's Rapid Support Forces, or the RSF, have now seized control of the nation's second city, Wad Madani. The development comes after the eight-month war with Sudan Armed Forces, or the SAF. The city had taken in thousands of refugees who fled from the Sudanese capital of Khartoum. Aid organizations, many of which had relocated from Khartoum to Wad Madani, have suspended their operations in the wake of the RSF takeover. Now, following three days of intense fighting, thousands of residents fled the city towards the south. Disturbingly, markets and homes were looted by various factions, including the army, police and even some civilians on Sunday. Fresh reports suggest looting by RSF fighters continued into Monday as well. Moreover, as per the International Organization for Migration, at least 250,000 to 3,000 people have also, been, have also fled Sudan's Al Ghazira state since the 15th of December. This because of the clashes between the RSF and SAF. The situation intensified further when the army intelligence units reportedly arrested civilians based on their ethnicity. People, particularly from the Sudanese state of Darfur, were targeted. These are the people who have been living in El Ghazira for decades as agricultural workers. The ongoing war between SAF and RSF it has resulted in over 10,000 casualties. It has forced 6 million people to flee their homes, constituting the world's largest internal displacement crisis. The RSF's gradual advance across the country has seen it gain control of four states in Darfur and most of Khartoum. Despite regional efforts to halt the conflict, the UN reports state that approximately half of Sudan's population is grappling with hunger. Moreover, more than 20 million children have been out of school since the war began.